Hi, and welcome to the December update for the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project, Part 2. Winter has fallen, but it hasn't slowed the progress on the Gordie Howe Bridge. The construction of the bridge has come a long way, and the jump forms are coming down from the Canadian Tower. My name is Bob Jones. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and future updates. Thanks in advance for the help. Since we saw the jump forms come down from the American Tower in August of 2023, anticipation has been building to see them stripped from the Canadian Tower as well. As we can see, the jump system is being dismantled. Big thanks to our subscriber, the Great Ape, who informed me of the boarding was coming down. Thanks again for the heads up. The impressive towers of the Gordie Howe Bridge have been under construction since 2019. The muralled jump forms encased the tower and provided workers an enclosed environment while each leg rose to its now complete height of 220 meters or 722 feet. Removal of the jump form system involves a multi-step process lasting approximately four weeks, from what I've read. Crews will disassemble the jump forms by removing equipment, platforms and materials before the crane lifts away eight panels from the tower, one side at a time. So work on dismantling the jump form has been ongoing for a while, as the top four panels have already been removed. I expect we will see the top of the Canadian Tower next time we update. Work continues. The road deck connecting the bridge to the plaza. I see changes every time I fly over the site. The road deck includes the back span, the side span, and the approach span over land. Lots of activity there and progressing nicely. Watching as the construction progresses is a learning experience. Here's a question. How many tons of styrofoam or expanded polyethylene EPS blocks are being used in the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge project? Looks light, but there is a lot of it. The use of EPS blocks in bridge construction has been proven effective in colder areas of the United States and Canada. Additionally, EPS blocks are cost effective, easy to shape, and resistant to harsh natural conditions, making them a favorable choice for bridge construction.
The bridge deck, known as the main span, is located over the Detroit River. The bridge deck will have 42 meters or 138 feet above water near the towers with a 5% incline. The middle of the deck will be 46 meters, that's 150 feet above water, to accommodate the Detroit River shipping lane. The wires pulled up through the stay cables on the Gordiehal Bridge are comprised of a rope-like metal strands contained in a high-density polyurethane plastic pipe. Each stay cable on the bridge will have between 38 and 122 strands inside the HDPE pipe, totaling more than 16,000. The ends of each metal strand inside the pipe are anchored to two points, an anchor box inside the tower and an edge girder on the deck. The stay cables are important for the bridge as they deliver the weight of the entire structure to the tower and maintain the bridge deck stability and placement. We have seen a lot of progress on the bridge in 2023. In a few weeks, we will be getting updates for 2024. It should prove interesting to see the bridge meet in the middle. It's getting closer with every video. Christmas is coming, and things get busy over the holidays. As you can see, I have hung my Christmas lights. If you don't make it back to the channel, please expect my best holiday wishes for you and all your loved ones. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.